All right, people. Welcome back. More dual commentary. So we are joined by Renny today. What's up? So uh, yeah, I guess our outcome was pretty definitive uh, last time. We went ahead last time and tested out uh, doing Dev Pro instead of DN, since it seems like the hate for DN is so real that you guys would dislike to share that in my video just because it's DN. Last time we went ahead and tested it, and it was pretty much definitive. Instead of uh, like 15 dislikes and like 11 likes, it was more definitive like 15 likes and like only four dislikes so uh i guess you guys really would rather prefer us dueling or doing dual commentary on uh dev pro or whatever besides just anything that's not dm all right i get it i get it that's that's totally fine it's totally fine so you know what people i'm gonna go ahead and make the changes for you guys it's gonna be a lot of work but i'm gonna go ahead and do it so i'm gonna change the banner i'm gonna change the end card i'm gonna go ahead and change the thumbnail we're not gonna do it's not gonna be doing dual commentary anymore it's going to just be dual commentary that's that's what it's gonna be called it's gonna be a lot of work and i hope you guys will go ahead and appreciate it uh like i said the system on here is a little bit faster it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to commentate on but i hope you guys appreciate it all right so the way i'm thinking about doing it since i don't want too much rated but then i still want some funness you know since there's two uh, dual commentaries per week we're gonna split it up. So this is actually the rated one. I know you're probably like, wait, what? <laughs> I know. Uh, you know, I just hopped into a duel and just got started. So uh, we have uh, Oza over here. Oh wow. Or he could just scoop it up. Like wow. This, uh, this is gonna be one of the things. And I was hoping that when it comes to rated, that they won't quit as often because they're gonna get punished more. Like you, you're literally losing rated duel. Your rating is going down. So hopefully they'll go ahead and stay in it. We're gonna go ahead and get some competitiveness on Depro, but then go ahead and have some fun duels as well. So I'm thinking like Tuesdays. Competitiveness. It's going to be rated, and then uh, Thursday is unrated, and that's how we're going to just break it down. So <laughs> now that I got everything in that direction out of the way, we can actually focus on the duels. Okay. Too bad they just quit. Finished? Yeah, I'm finished. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Be right back. All right, people. Another duel here. Right. So we got the wrong and Arif. Arif fail or I fail, and it looks like we might be seeing some chicken game. You know, yeah. and I said it's much dirtier here on <laughs> than the ratedness. Yeah, but hopefully they won't quit. Hopefully they won't quit. And he has what nine cards in next deck? Yeah, good. nine cards in next deck and ten over yeah, here. Yeah, like yeah. just because it's rated doesn't mean that's going to be one hundred percent competitive. Yeah, it's uh, it's much more uh, it's more difficult to go ahead and determine who's good and who's not good on Death Pro in comparison to DN. You know, DN you have a high rating, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Death Pro everybody's approximately around the same yeah, yeah, rating. Exactly, so it's yeah. more difficult. Of course, we see Chicken Game over here. Uh, I remember when I got this, I thought this card was going to be super busted. And it's actually not. Yeah. <laughs> like we were all worried about the chicken game, FT and all that. I, I I seen I've seen it a couple times in originals, but it's never topped at all. Not once. Not once. That's like I said, you know. It's just inconsistent. And chicken game's not really a good of a card. I was kinda worried about it. I was kinda like, Oh my god, this card's gonna be ridiculous, but it's really not a good card. It's actually a really fair and balanced card and you know, I, you know, we were calling for its head, but now nothing, you know. Yeah. Uh, Some decks can abuse it though with field spells, like just keep going into it and just pseudo space and keep drawing and shit like that. Yeah, like if you're going full on chicken after the then mm -hmm. of course it's, it's sacky, but you know, it's inconsistent. But uh, when it's just a standalone card, I mean, it's not really that good. Uh, sure, you can go ahead and pay a thousand life points to draw a card. Oh my god, that's so good. It's like it's like a reverse upstart. But then you see the problem is, is that unless you have a different spell to replace, and that's a pretty good play. If you want to go ahead and play chicken game, pay a thousand draw a card, and then replace it with a different spell now, more power to you, that's a great play. But if you leave it there, not only do you have an opportunity to go ahead and have your opponent use it, in which case, never let your opponent draw. We've already established that. But they can simply just pay a thousand and destroy it anyway. So, you know, you play chicken game, pay a thousand, draw a card, so you zero out, and then your opponent just destroys it. So, in the end, you're still going neg. Yeah. So, that's not great. So, if you can go ahead and play the card, pay a thousand, draw a card, and then replace it with different spell hell, you at least even out. It's like an upstart. So, uh, I kind of like it as a filler, you know? If there's a deck that you're playing where you absolutely need the filled spell, like, indefinitely, you're running three of that filled spell, you need that filled spell so bad, three terraforming, which is going worlds. Right. Oh, they, oh, by the way, they haven't done anything. All she did Nothing. was mill. All he did was mill. No, 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 no. Luminous no, page, luminous page. Yeah, like, yeah, all right, yeah, continue. Yeah, but Dark World to do that, because that's what mm -hmm. the guy got me. Dark World did that. He did that. Did it again. Then played his filled spell. Did it, and then pseudo spaced it. Did that. Drew again. I'm like, okay, this is kind of stupid. I probably, I mean, I wouldn't even go with the pseudo space. It's a little bit extreme because if you draw into the pseudo space really early in the game and you're not, you don't have that fill spell on graveyard to dead draw. But I'm saying definitively, if you need three absolute three of the spell spell and you're running three of the terraforming to get absolutely get that play off. What did he just do? Yeah, the fucking Garoth yeah, fucking yeah. Lumina play. And, I haven't seen that in a cool. Man. And he didn't attack. Oh, and he didn't attack. Uh, one card. Yeah, one card. 
Like, you know, you could have just, yeah. you, and you could have used chicken game. Damn, you kind of yeah. forgot about that, too. Like, don't be, damn, you're already down 13 cards. So mm-hmm. turn one. Milled the shit out of them. Milled the shit out of yourself. Don't be a pussy, mm-hmm. pussy. Uh, so, like I said, if you're running three, uh, your fill spell, and three terraformings, you absolutely need it, but you're worried about dead drawing and terraforming because the right shield's not right, I'd totally recommend you just run tossing in one chicken game. Just because even if you open up your fill spell and terraforming, the terraforming's not dead because you can go terraforming, get the chicken game, that's a zero. Chicken game, pay the thousand draw card, that's a zero. So you're not negging your deck, thinning your deck as well. So uh, mm-hmm. I would just go ahead and recommend that. Mill the dark hole. Oh my gosh. It's sad if I... <laughs> be sad if I had it. <laughs> I mean, we still don't know what you're playing. This guy is playing like ancient light swords. Like ancient. Yeah. Like, look, look at this. Who is this? Who is this? You know, who is this? Yeah. Like instead of actually saying the the classic trick clown uh, per, perform age, uh, you know, near of expensive yeah. deck, we're actually seeing like freaking two thousand and nine yeah. light storms. Like okay, <laughs> so I think is it the wrong here? The guy, are you playing chicken? It literally looks like you're playing ch- chicken game. The upstarts, are you playing chicken game FTK? Because you are, you're doing really bad. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you went first, and you're just lucky that he didn't get in your booty because you, this duel should already been no. over or close to it. You know, uh, and there's another problem. A uh, major problem with the chicken game, okay, is that they can't get their life points too far away. Oh, he's playing Cosmos. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> What's wrong with that? He's playing Cosmos. I, I, I have nothing to say to you, sir. <laughs> I have nothing to say to you. Like, what? What? What's up with the chicken game? What's up with the upstart? Like, those aren't cards that Cosmos play. The deck is predominantly more of it. And OTK, FTK deck, dishing out the damage and getting you good. So what are you doing playing all these filler cards like this? The like, deck's not that inconsistent where you gotta play all these filler cards. I don't even care if you don't have your new cards like your Cosmojo and your, your Tin Can. You, all you had to simply do was just look at a couple of deck profiles from the current set before uh, Breakers of Meta, and you would've been fine. So I don't know what's up with all these filler cards. I don't know what's... I don't know, you must have opened up like straight booty. Like, I'm hoping that this chicken game is just kind of like your filler card because maybe you think that you absolutely need your Cosmic Town, so you're running them three terraforming, so this is your filler chicken game. Mm-hmm. But they don't even need the terraforming. At first, you know, back before they got all their Cosmic Monsters, I can see where you're coming from, but they mm-hmm. don't really need it, you know? But uh, Farm Go Band would search it out, and you get it eventually. It's, mm-hmm. a good, it's a great card, don't get me wrong. It's a great fill spell, mm-hmm. but you don't need it. You don't need it absolutely. So it looks like he's you know, gonna go ahead and play clean up here. Just tag out, tag out, tag out, and Oh, there's Dank Destroyer, mm-hmm. which I would not be surprised if there is a uh, JD ready to go. Did he mail all his JDs? I don't, I don't think so. so. Yeah. Ah, I hate it when you can't freaking... At least you can look in the yeah, graveyard yeah. on here. I'm like freaking... Uh, <laughs> on DN, so I gotta at least give you that. At least yeah. I can check out the graveyard, which... Like I said, I still don't understand why DN doesn't let you check out the graveyard. Like, I don't understand what's the unfairness. Mm. Oh my god, going in. Mm. He's about to turn this whole duel around. around. Like, is that how it's gonna go down? Emergency teleport, who are you summoning, though? Because you kind of, you know, left wolf there. I mean, unless you have, like, honest... It's farm, how is farm girl gonna handle this wolf? Maybe Lance during the damage step? I know, I like to play Lance in my Cosmo, so... Maybe that's it? Or... Because uh, I have no idea. I mean, you're obviously attacking to it, so you have something. But what is it? Honest Lance, you know. What is it? Jaragito, maybe. No. If you're still playing that, I kind of dropped him. It just wasn't really necessary anymore when uh, I had all my other consistent Cosmo cards. Okay. Okay. What was the point? There it is. Okay. Uh, okay. But still, what was the point of the chicken game? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. So he he went super neg, <laughs> messing his own chicken game. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen much of that. I mean, when I played in Cleese and Tower Turbo, you know, and I went first, dropped that Tower Turbo with the chicken game. I wouldn't mind going Helix Effect, pop that chicken game. I don't want you to get that, but mm-hmm. that was weird. That was that was a really weird play, and he wasn't even to wrap the duel up either. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, what did he search out with Slum Girl? Was uh, it good. Uh, no, uh, Wicked Witch. Really? Yeah. Okay, I guess. I would have got my fill spell. Like, that was the time you should get to go, dude. <laughs> like, unless you can end this, you got you literally have to end this duel this turn. Because, th- look at this. Look at these mills. I didn't see a JD, though. Yeah, I haven't seen one. I haven't yeah. seen a single J- Stop. It's so <laughs> annoying. No, they have to do things. So oh, my God. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he didn't have JD. He would have summoned yeah, it. Yeah, he would have summoned it. So, are you, I, I don't see a single J. Oh, no, there's one. one. There's one. The one. So, you tell me as the last two cards. It's two day GDs. That's crazy. He's already kicking himself. Oh, that's so crazy. That, that that must suck. Like I bet this man is kicking himself right oh, now, but he feels like shit. Oh my god. So, uh, with 
how fast the duels are going in Undead Pro in comparison to DN. I really can't name the title, just, you know, a single duel, or even two duels. So, uh, similar to how I do with uh, Daily Duels with the Cop Out and Tag Days, uh, I, I think I might just go, you know, uh, Duel Commentary, uh, and then, you know, Rated Duels, Part 1, and then we'll go all the way up, and then Unrated Duels and, uh, on Thursdays. So, we, we now have a structured system, which is fine, but hopefully you guys still enjoy. Uh, like I said, there's more to risk in a reward when it comes to rated duels, not only being your rated, but they can only play with TCG cards right. rated. Well, unrated, you know, have fun with it. You want to go ahead and play your, you know, and drop your crystal meth dragon a first turn uh, in with speed roids, or, you know, oh, I, I guess he's going to pitch and get his JDs back, like that. Uh, if you can survive a turn, mm -hmm. I said, you milled the shit of yourself. What was, what was in your hand? I know, obviously not. All right, so a wolf that you dead drew in a red, and so, all right. All right. And obviously you're going to get that JD back. Mm -hmm. like, that's a given. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you you got to go JD, 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 wipe, 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 wipe. Because mm -hmm. you're probably, you know, you have a pretty high chance of drawing into a JD. So, uh, Mr. Cosmo, you got to wrap this duel up, surprisingly. you got to wrap this duel up. Because he's going to summon JD and at least get him down to the life points where he can't jd spam yeah, you yeah. at least get to that point even though i think you might have something because uh wicked witch it's, i think her effects only once per turn okay slip i mean there's not much back row that <laughs> deck likes to destroy so i guess i said i wouldn't be surprised if it's his, his uh light sworn truck is he even running that card i don't even see it the jd searcher wow and then tt hmm Okay, if, I mean, if that's what you want to do. If that's mm -hmm. what you want to do. I said, are you are you afraid that this is like Rico or something? I mean, Rico can't even target Doctor Destroyer, and if he kills your flip, who cares? Like, all right. Mm -hmm. So, if this is the, how you're gonna get it in to wrap this duel up, more power to you because you you can't risk it. I said, at least get the life points down low enough to where he can't summon JD and wipe you and wipe you and wipe you and summon it and summon it and wrap this duel mm -hmm. up. Like Cosmo is getting too much damage in. Like, that, that would be ironic, to say the least. I said, this is probably one of the worst Cosmo decks I've seen in the Cool Minute. <laughs> right. And this is one of the worst Lightstorm decks I've seen in the Cool Minute. Right. In the at least the last six six years. <laughs> wow. Dark Brad. Mm. Yeah, uh, Dark Brad's not a bad card. You know how I feel about it. Yeah. I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't praise Great Horn and then turn around and talk shit on in Dark Brad <laughs> when they literally just do you know, the same they job. Did, uh, you know? Was it the best cards right now? I, I, mean, I really can't say. Um, you know, you at least got his life points down, hopefully low enough to not do anything. But you know, that's still at least one wipe left. Mm -hmm. At least your at least your Cosmo monsters are going to float. But yeah, that's at least one wipe left. So ah, this is it, this last this last turn is it. This last turn is it mm -hmm. because JD is going to mill you out. So hopefully, out of yeah. them two, out of them three cards left, you have you know a six six. 66.66666666% chance of drawing into a JD. So you got two JDs, hopefully, in your hand. So are you going to go summon JD, wipe? He, these two are gonna, obviously going to float. Um, wouldn't be surprised if he summons a Wicked Witch and pays that thousand, so a uh, Wicked Witch can't be destroyed by card effects or by battle once per turn. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Is it once per turn until the end of the turn? I can't remember. Is there a Wicked Witch? No. There's a Wicked Witch in his hand. Mm -hmm. Is it Wicked Witch out here? It's Wicked Witch out here. Once we turn, you can pay 10,000 life points. This turn, this card can be destroyed by all kinds. Right, we get witch right there. Mm -hmm. We get witch right there. It's too strong. And, you know, there's a reason why you went three with good witch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not only preventing the mirror match and being destroyed by yourself, but 19 beater, tag outer, like enabler, mm -hmm. a, a ship pilot. It's just, you know, don't, don't fuck with Darth Maul. I think we established mm -hmm. that in the movies that I did not watch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. um, I'm, I'm just still waiting for Darth Vader. Where's the, where's the Vader? Probably in probably in uh, victory, mm -hmm. or maybe in Burger Meta if they're not done showing the cards. If they showed a couple of cards, but I think they're done. Then they might in Shining Victory, they'll be like, "Hey, look, more Cosmo cards." Because mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's, it's probably it's pretty much a given that there's going to be a Darth Vader card. You right. can see the art in Cosmo Joe, the yeah. freaking control panel mm -hmm. arm. <laughs> All right, so someone that JD paid a thousand white skill right there. All right. So it's two pro. So you know, banish both those two will go off. Who are you going to summon? Like I said, I would go ahead and summon Wicked Witch, maybe in like defense mode, and you don't even have to worry about it. And I guess a Forerunner, because why not? I said you can't kill both of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, can't, you can't even JD anymore. So you don't even have to worry about that. And if I was a Lightsworn player, I would definitely, if you have another JD, summon the other JD and XC them too, because this JD is going to mill you out. Mm -hmm. 
uh, you, or you cannot do what I thought you were going to do. Like that, that, that's fine too. You, you can do the complete opposite. <laughs> he said, "Wicked Witch would have been great," and like that, I guess Forerunner. But uh, I did not think Good Witch and Straw Man. Straw Man. I said, "I only run one of these each." Straw Man's good in situations if you can pull him off, and so is Good Witch. So, uh, yeah, Mister. Uh, Mister Cosmo, do. Oh wow, he didn't draw it to the JD. Uh, yeah, that's actually and that's funny. That's funny that he didn't jump to the JD. So he had a 33.333% chance of not joining JD, and that's actually the outcome. So mm -hmm. looks like your luck ran out. Exactly. I, think, I, think, I think that he, uh, the Cosmo guy, despite his terrible plays, will actually survive this turn exactly. and be able to pull off the win. All right, so he's going to go ahead and tag out. I'm assuming into Wicked Witch. Yep, go ahead and tag out to Wicked Witch. This is totally fine. It's totally fine. Like, your, your plays, the Cosmo play, your plays are unorthodox, and I'd really say that you got lucky in uh -huh. the end. Really, because just it, fight somebody with any skill. Because in, in the end, you're bare minimum. You're just lucky that he didn't draw into a JD. Because if he would have drawn into a JD, that would have been an additional attack. I mean, of course, this can't be destroyed by battle of a card effect by turning that was fine. He would have obviously killed the good witch, leaving you only with wicked witch. And then these two JDs could become, you know, a felgram. Mm -hmm. And that it was one only one card in your hand that could easily screw the pooch right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, you just really you just got lucky. You got lucky that this man's about to mill himself out and didn't draw into another JD. All this milling, all of that, and in the end, the two JDs just sat at the bottom right. of the deck, just pooling like that. That's that's actually kind of funny, but you know, I, I really can't respect like this one. It's like it doesn't take too much skill, and I just really cannot stand JD. It's just like, yay, you milled a whole bunch. So congratulations, you get this broke ass three thousand beater wiping on the whole field shit just because. Yep, just because. Just because he mills. Yeah, <laughs> like what's the skill in that? Yep, yeah. and there goes the last two JDs. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Mr. man. That's Mr. Cosmo, suck. yeah. Mr. Cosmo yeah. guy, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> wow, yeah. that's actually kind of funny. That's, yeah. that's wow. All right. You know what? I feel like one more duel. Yeah, one more duel. All right. So, we're right back. All right. We're back. Uh, we actually ran into the wrong again, the Cosmo guy. So, let's see if he does better and doesn't win just because he got lucky. He's going in DDD, yeah. so you can't slip up. Oh, oh my right, God. Bro. Even in the. This deck even topping a little bit in the uh, in the TCG, you know. I would definitely say it's like a tier 2 deck. It, it has the potential of doing really well. Mm -hmm. And topping a couple of times, you know. Uh, so, don't don't fuck up. DDD's uh, deck kind of floats pretty well, and it, it, can, it can kill you, so. <laughs> Uh, it's nice that he went ahead and went one for one and special summon this in defense mode because usually you see this monster in attack mode on a normal summon. And you don't want to lose that in attack mode when your opponent's playing Cosmos. I mean, a little does he know he's doing these Cosmos. So, uh, like I said, that you know, it seems like he's definitely playing multiple terraformings trying to get into his build spell effect. Uh, I just talked about this play. Well, no, no, he's just playing multiple chicken games. Oh my god. Uh. Who holds multiple chicken games in fucking Cosmos? Like, what are you doing? You don't need a deck than that bad. I was actually going to discuss as an engine, but, you know, like, man. Nah. Yeah. Like, do a triple terraforming, triple chicken game, triple pseudo space. You yeah. know, that's nine cards that all zero out. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, you're just filling out space, but Cosmos don't really need that. <laughs> Yeah, maybe in the beginning, like yeah. the one they only had like Slip Rider and Forerunner, no Bank right, Destroyer right. and shit, but, you know, things are different now, so. I don't know where you're going with this. I really don't. You, 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 you are an interesting Godson player. By interesting, I mean. Mm. <laughs> yeah. uh, so you got your deck down to 30 on first turn. It's not yeah. terrible. It's just. You're not going to leave that chicken game there, are you? You're actually going to move it out of the way and proceed to do some good plays, right? You're not. You're. you're no, it's <laughs> the same thing he did last time, <sighs> except he added another chicken game to it. What the fuck with the fucking deck thing? Like you were literally just, uh, what, what, what is your deck? Like a twenty-four deck card? Yeah. What no, twenty-four deck? Twenty-four card deck? Because uh -huh. you're playing triple upstarts. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that you're playing triple terraforming. Mm -hmm. You're triple chicken game. I haven't seen pseudo space, All right. I so I won't jump to that question. But that's literally nine cards that just even out. Mm -hmm. That's your, uh, that you're literally playing a thirty-one card deck. So okay, at least you replace the chicken game with uh, with uh, your nice Cosmo Town this time. So I don't mind that. That's What's good. What's he gonna do with it though? What's up with you and Straw Man? Like, you you are seriously playing more Straw Man than I would anticipate you to be playing. Like, Straw Man's actually gonna attack over something. Yeah, on the real. Like, <laughs> hey, at least he got us some attack points. <laughs> yeah, on like tin can. Yeah, it's nothing, okay. nothing. But it's RGD too. What is he supposed to do? <laughs> No, even three C three P has put in more work. Yeah. It's <laughs> more work. Yep, it's fine, girl. 
You really don't see that often. A two going to three. Mm hmm. So. Isn't that how it's supposed to kind of do, though? It's supposed to, like, build up? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's just generally you don't waste your pilots to tag out into other pilots. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. It's just like, why? I can already normal summon it. I really don't need to do that play. I'd rather just go ahead and hold on to the straw man. But this play seemed fun because straw man was able to go ahead and clear up the monster and, and get the farm girl to go ahead and get that direct attack in. So uh, I don't think you're going to be able to FTK or OTK and work your way up all the way up the ladder. But, you know, you're taking one step at a time. There's two, there's three, there's yeah, four. Yeah, so see, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. That's, isn't that what the purpose of the... That's probably what they were thinking of. Yeah, it's just, it's just the fives and up can't go yeah. any higher than that. So, you know, unless you're going to go. Vader comes out with, like, level nine or something like that. <laughs> Dark Destroyer. No, no. Wow, five. So, slip, go ahead and attack, and then let's go to the end. Because the only way you can end this duel is if you have one particular card right now. What card? No, that's not enough. That was not enough. I did my math wrong. Wow, and then just to make sure that that's not game. Exactly. Because I was thinking that he might have them removal, but then I was 1,000 short. Which is his fault, because you're the one that gave him the 1,000 oh, in the yeah, first place. Exactly. Like you said, you're giving him life points. So, th that uh, dark contract wondering, destroy as many dark cards in your show and trap as possible, and if you do draw the same number of cards you destroy, then gain a lot of stuff on three to the card you. Not terrible. Yeah. It's pretty good. If you didn't draw, then I'd be like, no. Yeah. But when you draw the same amount of cards that you destroyed, it's not terrible. You still go neg. But, uh, you know, with all these dark contract cards burning the living shit out of you, exactly. it's nice to go ahead and get rid of them, draw cards, and then go ahead and gain them life points as well. Mm -hmm. So, But they can always go into that stupid super bitch. And... Okay. I'm not sure if I'm going to play it in when I play DDDs. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I, I there's a lot of research. Like I said, he has to play TCG mm -hmm. while uh, Daily Duels, DDDs, I can play OCG. I can play whatever I want. So uh, I'm not even sure if that card's even necessary. I think I might just go ahead and do, <laughs> go in and just, uh, similar to how Cosmos is on da when it was on Daily Duels, OTK with my opponent, get like, you know, six, seven duels in because each duel is like two, three minutes because I'm just OTKing, FTKing my opponent because this is how DDDs are. He's clearly just floating it up and putting it in at work. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that card... <laughs> This, so it says, which card is on a DD threat zone? I think you can banish or something. Once per turn, you contribute one DD monster and then target opponent's monster, monster control, banish it. Yep. Yeah. So go ahead and banish that slipper. He can go ahead and get it back. But, you know, moving it out of the way is just clearly just so good. And we see uh, Rong over here with literally only 100 life points left. What are you doing, Kazuo, with only 100 life points left? <laughs> like, <laughs> eh? <laughs> like oh my god, the struggle's gonna be real. Like, oh, yeah, that's, game. that's game. That's game. That's dirty. Yeah. That's dirty. Nope, that's smart. That's smart. That's oh, smart. you Say can't do shit. Yeah. You can't. Do, I think that maybe you cannot pay light points. Maybe nope. uh, maybe a pilot going to like dark destroy. Like you can't even do that. As soon as you activate anything, that's game. That? Wow. Well, you that, can't activate anything because you can't pay the farm or inflict the. Uh, you don't pay the light points uh, to tag out. Uh, you pay the light points to get the search off of a uh, farm girl. So I was thinking that maybe he's just gonna go. You know, you just killed yourself. <laughs> oh no, wow. because he can't take damage, period. Oh my god, that's so wow. Yeah. That was the most clu yeah. the clutches of chicken game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, myself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Can we get her a replay of this? Uh two clutch. Uh, the most clutches of chicken can game. Can I get a replay of this? Yep. Oh, uh, Go ahead and do your plays. Uh, you you cannot get burns anymore. Like wow. That's foolishness. That oh is my foolishness. god. Like, no, oh check out. Are you gonna get burned? Nope, chicken game. My life went so lower, I take no damage. Period. Oh Whoa. my god. Can he do anything with it though? <sighs> I don't think he can. If he has Dank Destroyer. It, it, there's a couple of cards. Dank Destroyer. Uh, he's in defense. He's only twenty four, so you know, Dark Destroyer, Forerunner, there, there's a couple cards. See there there's... Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's MST, Dr. Star Burn, and that is game. Oh, that clutch no, no, MST. No, no. That was good. We're ending no, with that. No, that was good. No, that was no, good. No, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> he didn't have that MST, though. Yeah, if he didn't have that MST, then, of course, it would have went off, but mm -hmm. it takes no damage, period. Dr. Star would have destroyed the, the uh, Metal Flare. Mm -hmm. Nothing would have happened, of course, because there's no uh, red eyes in the normal monster in the graveyard to be summoning. Mm -hmm. And then attack for 3,000, he would literally just be top decking into. Uh, he would still be alive by like 300, because this would, of course, burn him mm -hmm. for uh, an additional 1,000. Mm -hmm. And 
maybe he would draw into something, but I seriously doubt it. So once again, the MST was too clutch. All the players were too clutch. That was good. That was yeah, good. Yeah. Wrap it up for uh, this episode of Dual Commentary. So uh, thank you, Renny, for joining me. No problem. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. As I said, I hope that you guys still enjoy this. Like I said, Tuesdays rated. Uh, Thursday's unrated. We're going to have both. Uh, I have a lot of work to do, a lot of art to, to change around, but like I said, it's not too much work. Then it has all my shit saved in layers, so it's just a couple of you know text changes and uh, changing around. Not too much work. And uh, I need Lunar to make me a new thumbnail because uh, the whole DM dual commentary thumbnail is so based off of dual commentary. But yeah, well, so we're going to be making the changes. So be patient. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys on Thursday with Unrighted and see uh, maybe a lot of uh, Crystal Meth Dragon and <laughs> all them fun cards. Uh. All right, people. Thanks for watching.